Good evening, everybody. So I've been asked uh, several times in the last few months uh, to do an updated um, Chromecast to Xbox One video with the new dashboard update that came out about a year ago. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, so this be you're going to need a couple of things to do this. You're going to need a Xbox One, of course. You're going to need a Chrome, Google Chrome. Uh, this is the old model. I've never upgraded it to the new one, but um, you can use the new one as well. And then you're going to need one of these digital tuners. So right now I have my Xbox power supply going here and my HDMI going here. The tuner is going to come right here. It comes with a little attachment right there that I can plug in to my USB. Now it actually comes like that but this is like a little extension so I prefer to use that. It's a little easier to maneuver. So put the, your TV tuner in the USB. Then you're going to have, now this is only going to work if you don't have your cable or satellite um, plugged in directly to your HDMI in which is right here. Uh, me, I use the TV tuner uh, with the antenna and I get my local digital channels that way and then I use my Chromecast to cast, you know, uh, Netflix and everything else that way. It's very convenient. I was able to cut cable and have everything running through my Xbox that I use. So you're going to plug your Chromecast into your HDMI input and then you can either run the USB power uh, it comes with a little power supply that you can plug into the wall I like to have my Xbox power this so it only turns on when I'm using it and then we will start seeing a light now it's hard to see here because I have a light shining on it but there's a light that's blinking here so that means it's getting power it's on now let me switch over to um, the Xbox screen so I can show you how to navigate and set this thing up. Okay, so I've got my Xbox loaded. It's booted up. So I'm going to go to settings first off. Oops. If I can navigate correctly. Alright, so you click on settings. Then you're going to go to the left hand column and go to TV and one guide. And one trick that I found um, is even if you've had this set up before, if you're having trouble pulling your HDMI through your um, one guide, uh, go in and reset the settings. So open the settings over here, go over to advanced. This is probably the first step I would recommend for everybody to do. Hit clear one guide, then hit down and hit clear history, and then just go back. Now, if you've never set anything else up before, if you'd have to tell, you're going to have to go in and set up your TV lineup and everything through your uh, antenna. I've already got mine set up. You can see there it says over there antenna set up. Uh, so what you want to do is set all that up before you do the um, Chromecast, uh, this Chromecast video we're doing here. Uh, if you want to do a little tester just to make sure that your HDMI is seeing your Xbox or excuse me seeing your Chromecast go to audio and video settings and if you see how it says HDMI connected right there go ahead and hit OK on that and you'll see a little virtual TV and it's going to pop up and should show your Chromecast just like that so that means you're getting a signal and it is coming through so now we want to watch this on um, using your one guide now Again, I have this set up through a off over the air antenna uh, using the uh, the adapter that I showed you earlier. So what you're going to do is you're going to get escape out of all these settings, go back to your one guide, hit the X for the, con the menu, and I have all my my channels here. Now, what you have to do is you have to go all the way to the either the beginning or the end of the channels. So see how it goes up to the antenna. If you hit up one more time, it's going to say HDMI source. Click on HDMI source, and it's going to pull up this little guy right here. Click it again, and here's my Chromecast. So I'm able to cast 
right here, watch whatever I want to watch uh, using my Chromecast. It's really nice. I can do Netflix. I can do obviously anything that um, that you want to cast using the Chrome the Chromecast option. I like it a lot because I can cast music as well, which um, I have to use select apps um, on the Xbox to do that. So I like the fact that I can do everything Chromecast. And then just hit X, go back to Antenna, select something I want to watch, and bam, I'm right back on TV. So very simple setup, very useful if you're looking to cut the cord um, and combine your Xbox with your Antenna and your Chromecast and uh, kind of merge two worlds together and not have to you know, change your input on your television as much. It just makes it real nice to be able to go from game to antenna to Chromecast all at once. So if this video was helpful to you or you enjoyed it, please like the video. I'll leave comments if you have any questions. If I forgot anything, please mention it below. And thank you for watching.